Hello. Today I will be discussing about the Sum Peters theory of the innovation. Sum Peters theory of innovation. The innovation theory of trade cycle is much more important than the business cycle. Sum Peter is an Austrian political economist and he was born in in the year 1883 and he after 1939 immigrated to USA and took the citizenship of USA and his theory there is there is the concept of innovation the innovation theory of trade cycle is associated with the name of Joseph Sumpeter. Trade cycles are the outcome of economic development in a capitalist society. Sumpeter accepts the juggler statement. What is the statement? The statement is that the cause of depression is prosperity. If there is a prosperity, there is a depression. Sumpeter's theory consists of the two stages. There are two stages in the Sumpeter's approach. The first stage deals with the initial impact of innovation, and the second stage follows through reaction to the original impact of innovation. So there is a concept of innovation. So there is a concept of innovation that is I N N O V A T I O N innovation. And there is a concept of invention. I there is a concept of invention. Okay. So two concepts there: innovation and invention. Both are not equal. There is a difference. From history, you have an idea that invention of a will, invention of a will, and by using two will, and you make a grinder machine, that is not the same with the invention. The grinder machine has a market, and you can earn profit. It is an idea. Innovation is a new idea, is a new idea that has a market and you can earn profit. So there is a intellectual, there is a, there, there is a, there is a capacity of brain. By using that, you can innovate something from the old one, from the old one. So innovation is an idea is an idea from that idea you can earn profit and invention is something is invented by someone so this, this is the difference between the innovation and invention the first phase of the sumpeter's approach deals with the initial impact of innovation what is the initial impact? And second stage follows the reaction to the original impact of innovation. What are the reactions after the initial impact of innovation? Okay. Now, The first approximation starts with the economic system in equilibrium with every factor fully employed, every farm is in equilibrium, 
Product prices are equal to both average and marginal cost. Profits and interest are, rate are zero. No savings and no investment. When there is, a, there is an equilibrium in the economy and the innovation get, get stirred from that equilibrium, the equilibrium bears some conditions. That conditions are every factory fully employed. Every farm is in equilibrium. And product prices are equal with the average cost of the product and the marginal cost. Profit and interest rates are zero and no savings and investment. So this type of equilibrium is there in an economy. This type of equilibrium is called the circular flow. It is called the circular flow. You can find this type of circular flow in an animal body. The black circulation of animal body is that type of circular flow. There are products and byproducts, but there is a system. There is no upswing, there is no downswing. It is, a, it is just a circular flow. Okay, you can find it in animal organisms. That type of circular is in the economy, consisting every factor fully employed, every farm is in equilibrium, there is no profit and interest rate, no savings and investment. Now, Sumpeter's model starts with the breaking up of the circular flow. Here is the importance of the Sumpeter's thought. His innovation breaks the circular flow in the form of in the form of new product. Who will introduce the product? The, an entrepreneur. Who will make who will make profit? So in in Sum Peter's model of innovation, entrepreneurs have some important role. And they are not ordinary people. They should have two capabilities. The existence of technical knowledge. An entrepreneur should have the existence of technical knowledge. And an entrepreneur should have the power of disposal. An entrepreneur should have the power of disposal over the factors of production in the form of bank credit, okay? The power of disposal over the factors of production in the form of bank credit is the second quality of an entrepreneur. So entrepreneur, in the Sum Peter's model is not an ordinary individual. Now, an innovation may consist of, what is an innovation? The introduction of a new product, the introduction of a new method of production, the opening up of a new market, the conquest of a new source of raw materials, the carrying out of the new organization of an any industry. Well, invention, invention of a new product. If an entrepreneur introduced a new product, it is an innovation. That product has a market and the entrepreneur will get profit from that product. Okay, There's a, it is a shock. It is a positive shock to the economy. An innovation may consist of the introduction of new method of production. If an entrepreneur introduced a new method of production through that method, he can earn profit and there is a positive shock in the economy. The opening up of a new market, 
the opening up of a new market is the is the another way an entrepreneur can earn profit suppose there there is a place where some product was not introduced an entrepreneur find that geographical area and introduce that product the naturally he get a market and from that market he will earn profit so the opening up of a new market is an innovation the conquest of new sources of raw materials or semi finished products it is also an innovation through which he can earn profit the carrying out of a new organizations of an industry so with this newly acquired funds the innovator starts bidding every resources from other industries money income increases look at the system with this newly acquired farms the innovator starts bidding away resources from other industries he got money from the he borrowed money from the banks and by using that money money income increases because he starts bidding away resources from other industries and prices begin to rise because demand is high competitive to the supply of the product so prices begin to rise there was stimulating further investment and in income increases and as a result of that investment increases and that is the induced investment and there is further investment further increase in income through multiplier and accelerator way so the multiplier and accelerator the new innovation starts producing goods and there is an increased flow of goods in the economy consequently supply exceeds demand it is natural it is natural supply exceeds demand prices and cost of production of goods starts declining until recession sets in when supply exceeds demand naturally prices and cost of production of goods starts declining until recession sets in so there are a system to which there is a profit and after profit naturally supply exceeds the demand and there is a recession now look look at the picture the diagrammatic representation of the sum peters theory of business cycle look at this along the vertical axis we measure the income along the horizontal axis we measure the time this is the equilibrium growth path this line is the equilibrium growth path and this line this line is the primary wave is the primary wave and this line is the secondary wave is the secondary wave so primary wave this is the equilibrium path and i have mentioned what are the conditions of an equilibrium path and it has a trend you must remember it has a trend equilibrium is uh, the, uh, the income is increasing in the long run income is increasing 
So th there is a there is a positive shock through innovation, and that innovation gives the gives primary waves to the equilibrium path. Okay, and there is a prosperity, and after that there is a recession. After that there is a recession because at first there is a there is a demand is greater than the supply of the product and price increases and price is maximum and then and then naturally the supply exceeds the demand and recession starts and at this point inflation is high at this point inflation is high and then recession starts but this is the primary wave and on the basis of a first new invention there is other there are other entrepreneurs who actually follow the follow that innovation and produces and and introduces and uh, and and introduce other products in uh, in the economy and that that products have some some market and that entrepreneurs will earn from profit will earn from profit all earn profit from that um, from that introduction so uh, suppose there is the invention of computer and there is another market of keyboards mouse and softwares pen drives cds there is number of other other things that has a market that has a market so the entrepreneurs may earn profits from that market so this is the second wave this is the secondary wave and i hope you have, you have understood that this is the secondary wave this is the primary wave this is the secondary wave. this is the this is the this is this is a one cycle this is the one cycle st uh, starts from here and it will continue up to here okay up to here then another another innovation is there and it starts revival and and touches the equilibrium path and then again there is a prosperity and again there is a recession in this way the cycle continues in this way the cycle continues this is the fundamental idea of the joseph stumpeter's theory of invention okay so i hope you got the point now <clears throat> now look what is the what are the criticisms in the sum peters theory of innovation of the sum peters theory of innovation sum peters analysis is based on the innovator it is based on the innovator innovator has an important role so that type of people is hardly found so this is one type of criticism sumpeter's contention that cyclical fluctuations are due to innovations is not correct cyclical fluctuations are due to innovations is not correct why there as a matter of fact debt cycles may be due to psychological natural and financial causes there are there are psychological natural or financial causes so cyclical fluctuations are due to the innovations is not correct is not correct the next one is the sum peters gives too much importance to bank credit but in the long run there is a required uh, there is a um, requirement of huge money then there should be a share there should, should be a share market or stock market but sum peter in sum peters model of innovation there is no such type of concept only the bank credit bank bank credit persists only in the short run only in the short run okay it is it is 
and criticism of the Sumpitus theory of innovation. If an innovation is financed through voluntary saving, there will not be an inflationary rise in price. If an innovation is financed through voluntary savings or internal funds, there will not be an inflationary rise in prices. Consequently, in an underemployed under economy, an innovation financed through voluntary savings might not generate a cycle. Okay, so, so if an innovation is financed through voluntary savings, there will not be an inflationary rise in price. So this is an important criticism of the Sumpitus theory. The Sumpitus analysis is based on the unrealistic assumptions of full employment of resources to begin with. I have mentioned that there is an equilibrium and equilibrium in the economy, and that equilibrium is a is a floor, is a floor of of the innovation and that in that equilibrium there is no unemployment there is there is every 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 factor every labor every labor is um, has has its own job so this type of situation is unrealistic so some peters analysis is based on unrealistic assumption of full employment of resources to begin with so these are the criticisms but Sumpeter's theory is important theory in business cycle. So I hope you got the point and making difference between the invention and innovation and what should be the quality of entrepreneurs as far as the Sumpeter's concept is concerned. And you have enjoyed this lecture and in and increase your knowledge thereby and i thanks to all of you for enjoying this lecture thank you very much